Welcome back friends. In Gene Allen School, we learned about the basic of genetic engineering, biotechnology and molecular biology. I hope every lectures are very useful to you to know the about the basic of genetic engineering. So today we will learn about one of the most important topic of genetic engineering and that is the mouse genome and the human genome. So you know that human genomes, we, everybody know about the human genome but you know that in laboratory we normally use with the genome of mouse because human genomes are not available to use or there is some ethical manners so that mouse genome are used in the genetic engineering laboratory or for the research work. So we have a question that is why mouse genome are used instead of human genome or other type of genomes why why there is mouse so there is some speciality obviously having the mouse genome so that we can learn about or we can research with the mouse genome and you will get the result that will compare to the human genome so you we use the mouse genome so so we have a curiosity why what is the comparison what are the characteristics of mouse genome so today uh, we will we will know about this why first we have to know about the human genome so in the, we uh, normally know about the human genome project or human genome con uh, constitution that is the the human genome contains 3 billion of base pair human genome contains 3 billion base pair nucleotide but you know that only 30,000 genes are found that means the 30,000 genes that uh, we know that uh, no, we know genes genes are the materials that can produce protein these genes are the material that produce protein from from the genome so that the, the part of genome from where protein are produced so there is you see that 30,000 genes are found in the human genome project and here you also see that 99.9% nucleotide .9 bases are exactly same in all people. In every human body, 99.9% .9 are same. That means all mankind contain 99.9% .9 same nuclear sequence. Only, only that 0.1% nucleotide are different among all the people. And you see that the characteristics among the people are very different. The hairstyle, their skin color, their characteristics, or their height, or their morphological other, etc. So you see that there is a very short difference among us, but we see a or we visible a large number of dissimilarity among us. This is the one of the most important fact that is only 0.1% are different among all the human body and rather 99.9% are same total of our nucleotide sequence so here is the structure of nucleotide human nucleotide sequence that is here you see that in the human, human genome that is the diagram human genome diagram here is the repetitive DNA repetitive DNA the DNA is repeated in our body again and again so some repetitive that here is a large number that the portion repetitive DNA portion is more than 50 percent that means that more than 50 percent are repetitive DNA found in the human body there is a other intergenic DNA some other intergenic DNA found here there is the intron you know that introns are spliced out by the mRNA or or in the uh, before the production of protein, introns are spliced out and exons are attached and exons are the materials of coding sequence and introns are the non-coding sequence that is not needed to produce protein. So there is, see there is only 1% or less than 2% are exon in a human genome. So only 1% of our genome can produce protein. Now we will discuss about the mouse genome. This is the mouse. The mass musculus, the scientific name of laboratory genome, sorry, laboratory mouse. Here you see this the sequence that is the genome size is 2.5 giga base pair long. And the interesting point is that here it contains 30,000 protein coding gene. We know that in human genome, there here is also 30,000 protein coding gene. So both 
for the human and mouse there is 30,000 protein coding gene that is the most important similarities among the mouse and human and here is it in the mouse there is 20 chromosomes are found but in a human we know that 46 chromosomes are found here 44 is autosome and 2 are sex chromosome we know but in the mouse that is 20 chromosomes are found so our topic that is the most important topic and that is the comparison of human and mouse genome that is the comparison what is the what is the relationship for which for which region we use mouse as a experimental animal for human genome project that is the cause of the experimental causes that is the comparative analysis of the human and mouse genome you see this the mouse genome is 14 percent smaller than the human genome the mouse genome are 14 percent smaller mouse than the human similar in the corresponding genomic region in both species similar type, type of repeat sequence are found similar type of base coding base pair are found and uh, at, at the nucleotide level or the nucleotide level they say that approximately 40 percent of the human genome can be aligned to the mouse genome this is another important term that is 40 percent of human genome are totally same to the mouse genome if we align the nucleotide sequence the sequence of 40 percent are totally same so 40 percent is a large number the huge number of comparisons and that is the main cause by for the reason we use mouse as an experimental animal with the human genome project if you if you if we apply experiment to the mouse and the result we can determine about this effect to the human body for that reason the mouse is, is used to the experiment of genome project to the comparison to the human genome project that's all friend i hope you like my videos if you like the videos or if you know about something it means a word or a line you can subscribe my channel like my channel or like my videos and comment me how can i improve and what topic you want to know that's all about goodbye